Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. We are having a free-to-play content in this channel. Uh, today we are going to speak regarding Bakshi, uh, legendary Wilderberg cavalry hero. Uh, first of all, in order for us to understand uh, what kind of synergies and what kind of skill set in general Bakshi has, we need to look at these skills and analyze it how it works, right? First skill is always most important skill for every hero. Uh, so Bakshi has a 1,400 damage skill damage factor and 20% damage vigor, the healing vigor. Now uh, vigor means that Bakshi is getting 20% more uh, HP for five seconds. Second skill is um, honestly most useless skill which Bakshi has. It's a peacekeeping uh, skill. Uh, which is like you are dealing additional 30% more damage to uh, Darklings or beasts around the map of Tamaris. Uh, third skill, Bakshi and Bakshi's Legion is getting 10% more HP and physical damage, attack damage bonus up to 20%. Uh, like an ordinary skill for every kind of hero. And the most important skill in my opinion uh, after the first skill is the fourth skill. Uh, but whenever Bakshi is fighting in the battlefield, uh, Bakshi is getting in the Legion 30% attack and defense bonus, both stats. Rage accumulation speed is up to 30% and also Bakshi is healing uh, up to 200. Um, yeah, I understand for a free-to-play players it's not that easy to awaken legendary heroes, but maybe you guys have prioritized uh, awakening Bakshi. So, whenever we awaken Bakshi, we are getting uh, 1,500 damage factor, uh, more 100, 100 more than before, and also you are getting 30% more HP for 5 seconds. So, uh, like, um, if we're gonna speak regarding the synergies, Bakshi is cavalry peacekeeping skill. Uh, peacekeeping is one of the worst traits, talents um, in the game uh, for fighting heroes, but Bakshi has skill. Uh, skill is like one of the rarest um, attribute talent section uh, for the legendary heroes and if we can see rage accumulation speed uh, also you are having HP bonus also you are having defense and HP bonus in many different skills it means that like Bakshi's playstyle is uh, to stay alive as long as possible uh, and to use skills with the rage accumulation speed as much as possible. Uh, also, we can speak more deeply regarding like talent trees. As you can see, I did not waste my talents right now, be simply because there is two playstyles, right? You are you never uh, uh, like put points on the peacekeeping trait because peacekeeping is all before PVE. Uh, Bakshi is more good uh, during PvP during uh, wars. So, like, uh, skill tree up to maximum and cavalry up to half. Or you can simply just go cavalry to the maximum and skill tree to the half. I prefer skill, skill tree to the maximum simply because you are getting more rage accumulation. Uh, speed, uh, you are getting better, like, in general, skills. And as we said, Bakshi is better whenever he is staying alive. And he is using as much first skill as possible during a fight. So, skill tree, as I said, is like most rare um, talent tree uh, in the game. Not a lot of uh, heroes have skill tree. So, we need to utilize the skill tree. And I would always suggest to uh, play Bakshi if you are running Bakshi as a primary hero, as a skill tree, as a maximum. Also, you guys need to uh, remember that... Uh, talents only matter if your hero is primary. Uh, as a secondary hero, uh, talents doesn't really matter. Like you, you, you should not even like if you want to like upgrade the talents, of course. But uh, talents only takes effect to Legion if uh, the primary hero uh, is using talents. So you need to remember that for sure. So skill tree is the better one and half the cavalry. But if you want to be more ordinary guy. With the Bakshi, you can run Cavalry up to maximum and skill tree how much you will have the points. Uh, regarding uh, hero pairs for Bakshi, it's interesting. Bakshi have been with us for a, from the season 1. And Bakshi is good as a secondary hero and as a primary hero also. Primary simply because of the skill tree. And secondary simply because of the rage accumulation speed and the buffs in general. 
Uh, most important and most uh, popular uh, cavalry unit hero pairs is Emrys and Bakshi. Uh, a lot of people are running Emrys as a primary hero and Bakshi as a secondary, but there is uh, like tier 5 players who are running Bakshi as a primary uh, and Emrys as a secondary. So you have like a couple of options with these two hero pairs, you can switch them whenever you want. Uh, I think Emrys has a pretty good uh, talent tree also, like mobility and PvP, uh, but simply because skill tree is very rare in the game, uh, you can uh, always run uh, Bakshi as a primary and uh, go to the skill tree until the full. Well, it depends on your playstyle, it depends how you are playing the cavalry. In my opinion, cavalry is one of the weakest uh, like uh, the unit types in the game. They are not dealing too much damage and they are squishy and they are dying pretty fast. Uh, another hero pairs for Bakshi is like any cavalry hero, like most popular is always Emrys and Bakshi. If you want to run Bakshi, you have, like you always have Emrys because you can get both of the heroes from the gold chest. So uh, if you like Bakshi's playstyle, run with Emrys. If you like categorically don't want to run uh, Bakshi with Emrys, yep, you can run it with Forondil. Uh, you can run uh, it even with Alistar, but one of the most popular and the most important uh, playstyle with Bakshi is with Emrys. That's why I, my first suggestion was to uh, to play with Emrys as a hero pair. And if you simply don't want to play with Emrys, you can go with uh, Forondil and Theodore. Like not not a lot of people are using Theodore. I don't have Theodore by myself, and I I can't speak more. Right? Like if we're gonna only speak about uh, skill sets of Theodore, yep. Like Theodore has the defense bonus. Theodore has a HP bonus, attack resistance, right? Uh, and skill damage bonus. Like kind of there is a synergies. Like Theodore makes Legion uh, more tank here and Bakshi makes Legion more tankier, but in general best um, hero pair for Bakshi is still Emrys. Um, regarding like artifacts, which artifacts um, are good with, for the, in general, not, not only Bakshi but for cavalry units, like there is lo always a lot of choices regarding cavalry unit artifacts, but the best one is still uh, Kingslayer simply because like highest damage with the artifact 1800 uh, is good uh, also you are dealing uh, up to five enemy legions and it's a lot of damage if you are hitting five of them at least four is already a great amount of damage also like second tier best is kingslayer then is Sorland's blade which i currently have simply because i don't have kingslayer as a free-to-play player it's not uh, easy uh, to have many different uh, legendary artifacts, you need to get lucky. Uh, Solon's Blades are dealing damage up to two legions, uh, and the damage factor is 1600. Also, you are getting uh, haste, march speed bonus, so for Emrys legions, this march speed bonus is a great thing to have, uh, because Emrys is a mobility hero uh, for the cavalry section. Other like unique um, cavalry artifacts are storm arrows. Again, attacking artifact, but more utility based. The skill uh, of the storm arrows is blink, uh, like teleport range 50, uh, and you are getting um, rampage whenever you teleport, and your rampage is the damage deal to 12% for four seconds. It's like more utility based uh, legendary uh, artifact, which will be my third choice if I was you. Other than that, uh, there is like one uh, epic artifact, Blade of Reproach. Uh, it's not a good one simply because of peacekeeping damage. Uh, but uh, like at least you are heavy. You, if you don't have any legendary artifacts, you can go with the Blade of the Reproach. At least you will farm uh, Darklings and the uh, Dark Creatures and Behemoths uh, faster than before. Like it's better than not having uh, artifact at all, uh, in my opinion, right? So, like, first choice is King's uh, Slayer, second choice is Solon's Blade, and then Storm's Arrows. Uh, you can uh, go with, uh, for example, Spring Raid Feather if you want 100% more, uh, like, your unit, your Legion should be around playing around the March Speed. Like, this artifact is all about March Speed. I wouldn't recommend, uh, simply because uh, Cavalry units are lacking damage, and if you will remove, uh, remove damage from the artifacts, what it be, you will be just faster moving around the map but dying and not doing anything.
So still Kingslayer Best, then Solan's Blade and then Storm Zero. I'm not speaking about other artifacts simply because they are not gettable from the uh, Universal Artifact Confendium. So other artifacts, whoever is play paid to win player, you know it better, guys. Um, regarding Warpets, I have already done the war done Warpet guides one by one. Uh, every single Warpet was uh, discussed, uh, and uh, you guys should already know which one is better for cavalry units. But I think like Fair Drake, uh, Berserker Fair Drake is great one. But as uh, special skill talents for like in general Emerys and Bakshi, I would prefer Fierce Attack. Uh, sim simply because of the rage speed, like skill damage, like Emrys and Bakshi is all about uh, rage accumulation and skill damage, and first uh, attack is all about skill damage too. So this is like playstyle for myself because I'm playing around uh, uh, with the Bakshi and Emery regarding like dealing as much damage uh, from the skill damage factor uh, rather than auto attack and moving faster. So like still you have a couple of options with the warped sections uh, section if you want to play around with a different style decision is yours. Um, regarding how to get um, Bakshi um, in general to awaken or to prioritize to get more tokens, it's very easy. You are getting Bakshi from gold chests and like if you are playing cavalry uh, heroes, you can get both important heroes from the gold chest. Emrys and Bakshi are both gettable simply by just playing the game and doing the events. Just simply the, uh, playing the gameplay. Uh, also, if you want to commit commit to Bakshi, you can always put it to the VIP shop uh, and click on Bakshi here, and you will get one Bakshi tokens uh, per day on reset. So uh, this is what I wanted to share regarding Bakshi, uh, simply because Bakshi is one of the oldest uh, heroes in the game. Uh, it was time for me to make a guide for him too. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, guys. Uh, Press on like button if you like the content in general, subscribe, uh, simply because I'm, I'm not going to stop, I'm going to uh, make more content, more free-to-play content mainly, simply because I don't even have Lilia, and that should be understandable for you guys that I don't did not even spend $1 in this game. Yep, thanks for watching, see you soon, bye bye!